Hey mama! So some of you guys ask me what is coning or what is doming. So pretty much it's the six pack muscles that is separated from either side and then you see the vertical doming of your tummy coming out. So that is called the doming or coning. It is basically the same thing and also means that you have an abdominal separations. That's why the six pack abs or the six pack muscles split it or it's called a diastasis recti. It's basically the internal pressure is is pushing too much against your tummy so there's no space to go because it's 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 an opening gap so it pushes your tummy out so you see like the mountain of meats coming out so when i had a severe diastasis recti with a non-functioning core at that time i could there was no way like every time i move you would see the coning coming out it was really bad and um no matter how much i try to suck in my stomach you don't see my stomach moving much because I just have, I had no control of it. So what I wanted to show you today is even though I um, can, I am down to one, one and a half finger gaps for my diastasis recti and I have a really strong functional core, but I do still get coning and doming um, at woods uh, when I am doing a certain move. I'm going to demonstrate to you right now, this is, um, I will never do this kind of move because there's no reason to unless I'm working out so I will avoid us this move so I'm just standing I'm just standing here now this is my regular tummy right so now I'm gonna show you when I bang backward what happens so so you see so this is doming out now so relax right this is relaxed normal belly nothing is happening now when I'm trying to bend backward You see, it's storming out here. So, okay, this angle may be better. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna try to worsening my gap for sure, but I do wanted to demonstrate this is a domain when I am not engaging my core. So when I'm engaging my core, I could actually do bend, back, bend, uh, bend, back bending. So let me show you again. So I'm gonna engage my core. So now I'm unengaged. So now let's bend backward again. You see? You don't see the doming anymore. It's a lot flatter now. But of course, I have to hold its positions, right? I have to engage my TBA muscles, engage my deep core muscles, engage my, like, every muscles of this part, including lifting my pelvic floor up in order to withstand the tension, in order to withstand the pressure inside, again, pushing against my tummy. So, hence, um, I would be able to, it's actually okay for me to do back bending. So to a ex certain extent, when I'm back too far, then even if I'm engaging my core, I would be shaky and it would be like really, really hard for me to maintain. So what I want you to do today is take, pay attention to see if you see any coning or doming through your day-to-day -day movements, whether it is picking up your baby from the floor or over the crib or uh, running around chasing after them or going on the floor to uh, play with them on the floor. See if, if what kind of movement makes it a coning for you. And if you're saying like, Becky, there's like, I cannot avoid all of these stuff. Like every movement I do makes it a coning for me. So it means that your core is quite weak and you need some support, uh, abdominal binder, which in the next video, I'm going to show you what kind of abdominal binder that I have been using or I had used while uh, I was four and a half fingers gap with diastasis recti uh, at three months postpartum. I will show you the postpartum uh, abdominal, abdominal binder that I use that helps with it. Uh, but in the meantime, pay attention, jot down to notes to yourself what kind of movements that makes it a coning for you because you want to avoid doing them. Or maybe you need to engage your core before you move them because these aren't the position that you're most optimal in. So, okay, let me know if that helps. And uh, if you have any questions, always let me know. DM me, uh, connect with me on Instagram. Bye.